What if I told you there was a way to make every word count? One more big building. In a battle royale, every second matters. In the time it takes you to articulate where an enemy is, they can reload, replate, and reposition. Calling out to your team increases the urgency for an enemy's need to push. But what information do you give? One dead. Other than you're about to die. So what do you say? The compass is helpful, but rarely do I see results from using it during close quarter combat. If you want to be more competitive with your squad, you need to dial in your communication. The best sit rep you can offer yields these three things. Position, elevation, and threat level. I thought it would be best to share some examples. Take winery, for instance. There are multiple buildings and dozens of terms used to describe the landscape. In the center facility, there are five main buildings and several outskirts. So I decided to split them into sectors. Through farmhouse? I'm in danger, big rock. I get a res? Yes. I'm landing keep. Another one landing back. Coming. Dead. Landed on you. What the fuck is this guy? Another one flying in. Grapes over here. By landing backside beach. Lighthouse is down. One on beach loading. One's bottom tunnel. Away. From buy station. He's one, he's one, he's one, he's one. Come, he's coming. Two top scaffold. So how do you use these? Even with an accurate position, there are still multiple floors, windows, and various adjectives that can be added to these positions. Teammates often say, above me or below me, the time it takes for your teammate to recognize your voice, and then your position. By that time, your enemy is already taking your loot to the next firefight. What do we learn? Giving out lessons for free. It's up to them if they want to learn. Instead of screaming he's one shot or on me 17 times, give a directional or elevational adjective along with the position. For instance, top scaffold or bottom guest house. Short and sweet so your teammates can hear crucial audio cues of their own. Now you guys suck. The final call-out tactic is an art, but the most important. Too much info, and it turns into mic pollution. Not enough, and it can drastically change the way your teammates push in. The most basic is quantity of enemies present. One on radar, I hear two. For instance, insert in the front or the back of the previous example. Sitting in the corner. Two, top scaffold, or 
bottom. Guest 3. Letting a vengeful teammate know what they're swinging on is saving you from sailing straight back to the menu. Other things I'll sprinkle in for maximum effectiveness. Don't push. Riot shields whole squad. Hiding behind the door. Oh my god, you guys are trash! Sniper up top. Give valuable information that will help offense know the defense they're coming up against. These skill sets can be applied endlessly in Warzone. They're useful in public matches, ranked play, and even multiplayer. Start small and build. Pick your favorite drop and start practicing. Use these nicknames or come up with your own. The important thing is to start communicating. Saying too much is rough. Saying nothing is inexcusable. Share this video with the squad you drop in with and comment down below on what POIs or maps you'd like to learn about next. See you out there. Sit rep out.